Hush, she's asleep. Mm -hmm. I always appreciate kisses from my sweet, mouthy Nana. But you usually do with a smile. What troubles you, my love? Ah, uh, damn. I'd hoped all the extra work we'd done would make the crops yield more. If that's the state they're in, then... People will starve come winter. Hmm. When you say we'll find a solution together, I believe you. You will let at my side for what? Two years now? With minimal casualties. <laughs> v makes for a great shield from angry nanas, you know. But it looked like you wanted to say something. Hmm. You still think we should venture towards the Foglands, huh? I know, I know. Sven led a crew there nearly two weeks ago and there's been no word back. It's... It's hard, Nana. I gave him my word. As a shield brother. That I wouldn't shame him by rushing in where I may not have a right to be. Hmm. True. You didn't promise him. And I can't have my partner going out there alone without me. Right? Uh-huh, see, I'm getting better at your fancy Breton manipulation. One day I'll be able to say no to you. <laughs> hmm. Very well. Yeah, let's prepare to journey. If you can get that Skvalerbitta, provided he isn't in a food coma, prepared, I'll only get B to one of the shield maidens so they can train. Alright? Good. I will meet you soon. And it's clean. Friend. A pleasant surprise to see you so early. Yes. I am Owen. Mostly. How can this dragon be of service to his most kind hosts? Family. You... You would consider me your kin. Your banner. Your very tribe. service to his family. Sven, yes. The one that always wears the helmet that masks his face. The one that loves what ifs. What if you were pink? What if I tried to nibble on a scale? What if I put a little hat on you? That, Sven. Yes. <sighs> yes, I do enjoy his company. I suppose. But I sense that he may be in distress from your body language. Oh? Do you wish to ask me for a forbidden question? Mm. No. I will answer one. You spared my life, and I am eternally grateful to have found much kinder handlers. Ask your question, friend. But no, the gods are listening. The Foglands. Mm. Is that where Sven has ventured? Mm. 
Why did you not tell me? <sighs> no. How could you have known? You only ask me because you know my kind are born there, yes? Why has Sven ventured to what he would only know as a myth? Ah, yes. The food shortage. Your parting with the Breton King severed that treaty, and elsewhere is rather... Isolated. Listen to me, friend. I am in your mind, so the words cannot bleed. Please trust in me. The Foglands can only be navigated through by a dragon. There is little land to actually stand on that isn't just underwater, or sharp, jagged cliffs. In the fog, Somewhat like your beehives, or tunnels that lead to caves with abundance of food, seeds, and supplies. But the danger makes it nigh impossible to navigate without me. You must trust me implicitly. You and your husband both. Do you understand? Good. I apologize for climbing into your skull cavern. I also apologize for being about to drop you onto the ground. Nana, what happened? What? No, why do I need to talk to him right now? You're hurt. I do trust you, Nana. Then please trust me. Chieftain, brother, in arms and spirit. What did you just... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what the fuck are you doing to my head? Uh, don't you ever do that again. Apologies. I need your trust if we are to save Sven now. Our Sven? What? Don't question it. I... Uh, you know, almost all of the time, you're absolutely brilliant. An astounding, shrewd leader who can resolve damn near anything. And then, like right now... You're being that little spitfire that broke my nose the first time we met. <sighs> sure, you think it looks handsome? You have to live with it. <sighs> Fine. I trust you. My threat stands. I will make it personal, Dragon. Understood. I will meet you at the pier within the hour. Oh, I've got you, Nana. I swear that big lister needs to give us a warning before taking off. Yeah, I heard what he said. I'm glad you befriended him, Nana. Truly. Um, sparing his life is basically the same thing. <laughs> Fair. Alright then. We go to the Foglands within the hour. I'm almost a little giddy. I've missed our adventurous days. The more rational part of me is arguing violently against the idea. For the sake of our tribe. And our daughter. Savannah's tribe too. That's enough for me. <laughs> Can't wait to see what trouble we get into this time, eh? Nana. Nah. Thank you for listening to today's audio. We're finally back with the Viking Saga and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. We'll be following Ragnar and Nana for several episodes. 
And uh, shout out to my Patreons, like always. I really appreciate you guys. And if you would like to support me further, you can do so in the link below. The Patreon link below. I'm very bad at this, honestly, the whole YouTube thing. Subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, hope to see you guys for the next one. Bye.